Hey YouTube, Tuki back again with a trades, packages, eBay pickup video. Um, so yeah, quite a bit to get through today. Today, this video. Um, would like to obviously thank all the new subscribers. I've picked up quite a few up uh, over sort of Christmas, New Year, and into January. Um, so yeah, I mean, really thanks for that, guys. Uh, you know, without you people watching it, there isn't really much point in doing the videos. So uh, yeah, really thumbs up to that. Um, I don't know how many subscribers I've currently got because I know there's quite a few people that are hitting sort of milestones on on, uh, on YouTube. Um, if anyone can tell me a, a quick way of finding out, because I do know that YouTube sort of purges dead accounts, so I know you, the, the figures fluctuate somewhat sometimes. So uh, yeah, but like I say, guys, really appreciate you watching the videos. Um, so I mean, this one's like I say, what well, the mainstay of most videos. It, it's a pick up. To be fair, a fair chunk of this is, is going to be trades that I did off the back of a sort of January clear out um, that, that I did. There's still some bits left off that. I probably need to have another sort out. I mean, the, the fact is, it's just been fucking sack, that cold that uh, I've just been didn't want to come out in, in, in into the fridge. So uh, I've had another little sort of crap, pulled a few more bits and bobs out. I'm just looking down there because I can see like a little pile of little Game Boy games uh, in boxes. So. I may wait until I've got another sizable chunk and, and, and just do another video. Um, but like I say there's still some stuff left off, left over from the previous one. Uh, a lot of the N64 uh, cartridges, loose cartridges, and stuff. So yeah. Right. Anyway, uh, like I say, a huge chunk of this is just going to be like trades from people off the back of that video. Um, there's a few bits that I did that people paid like cash for, which which is great. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that I think they've either done a video or will do a video. And then this lot is just what I've did for, a, for off, off a trade uh, via that. So uh, I'll crack on anyway. So first up is um, one of my good mates on here. Well, I like to think of him as a good mate. It's Duncan, Woolly Weeble. Uh, so yeah, we did. A, he was after one of the games that I had. Um, and like I say, with, with Duncan, you know, always sorts me out. So more than happy with, with the deal we got. Uh, I'm sure he did say that I could say what we tr what we traded for, so I sent him the box Mario 64. Um, so the note from Duncan, it just says, uh, I Stuart has agreed and closed two games. Uh, all right, okay. And then a couple of Bruce's. Right. So what we got, these two, I'm pretty sure, well, the one, the, the Brucey on here, he's just basically saying, like, with the Brucey, if you don't need it, you can trade it, but I'm pretty sure I need it anyway. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, I'll uh, I'll just show you what Duncan sent me. I've, I've unboxed all this, because I say, that they've come in over a couple of weeks and stuff. So, just unboxed them. So, what we trade, what I traded Duncan for, like I say, was um, Mario 64. And the two main things that we did, we trade for, this game I didn't even know existed. To be fair, um, I've, I've, there's the one Kirby. It's a Kirby game. <laughs> there's the one Kirby game that Kirby's Adventure, I think it is, um, that, I, that I know of on the, on the SNES. I think this might have been a late entry uh, in the PAL, but the trouble with the cartridges, you don't know when the release is. But uh, it's Kirby's Ghost Trap. I've never played this. I don't. I ain't got a clue what it's about. Um, so that, that, was, that was one of them, and then the other one that sort of piqued me interest, basically because it's an early uh, an early release on the system. Um, in the note, Duncan says it's not the original case, so there's no sticker on it, but it looks fine to me, mate, don't worry about it. And that's Johnny Bazooka Tone. Again, like I say, it's one of the early releases, no, no banner across the top, and it is number 112. So that's all, as it is with Duncan, all the stuff's complete, all there. Um, a little bit of writing on the inside there, but I can live with that. No one's going to see that, and a fairly chunkable size manual. Again, not a game that I know anything about, to be honest. Uh, obviously, to do with music. Looks like some sort of platformer. So, yeah. And the two Bruce's that uh, Duncan sent me through is uh, Paperboy on the Game Gear, Loose Cart. I don't know how this plays. Compared to the Master System version, I'm guessing it's it's a, it's a port. Pretty sure I ain't got that. And then, more interestingly, um, some funky. It must be from China. Um, it is an N6, uh, a PlayStation to N64 adapter. 
So I don't know, maybe it was to do with for fighting sticks perhaps. Because I wouldn't really understand why else you would need to convert from a PlayStation to an N64. Because generally the N64 controllers, you know, with the analog stick is designed for the games. The only thing I can think of it, this would be useful for is some of the fighters. But there ain't that many great fighters on the N64. But it's still one of them really obscure things that I didn't even know existed. Well, I didn't really go out and look for it though. More beer. So many thanks to Duncan yet again. Really come through. Um, next up, next trade. Um, this is, uh, like I say, another fellow YouTuber. He's got a channel. Uh, not been on it long. It's got some really great content. Um, does a lot of pickups. He started doing it in the wild pickups with his camera. And I think he got arrested. So that was quite amusing. Um, his name's Darren. Daz. And uh, we did a trade and a little bit of cash. I sent him quite a few, I forget what I said. He's done the video, he's in the video anyway. So, okay, all these guys, I'll, I'll link them down below um, for the channels and stuff. So, yeah, Darren sent me a note and just says, Hi, Stuart, I hope these get you in one piece and they help with your collection. Thanks again for the trade and keep the cool vids coming. Cheers, Darren. So, excellent. I mean, what Darren sent me, uh, two games and, and a bit of cash. Uh, and I sent him a load of N64 stuff and some PlayStation stuff, I think. So, down a couple of bits. I mean, so they're not outstanding, but for me, it's like I've got all these games. I can have games that I haven't got, which is always a bonus. So, um, an awesome game on Amiga. I don't know how it plays on the Super Nintendo actually, uh, but it's Sensible Soccer European Champions Lose Cart. So you can't beat a bit of SNES. And um, one game that I just didn't have in my collection. Uh, I don't think I've even played it. No, I think I've played it on the Saturn. I think it's on the Saturn, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, it's Virtual Racing. In absolute mint condition. This is the one with the weird, massive cartridge. So, yeah, I'll give that a whirl. Only six button compatible with the pad. So there we go. So yeah, check Darren's channel out if you haven't already. Um, he, he does like, he does a pickups on his motorbike. And he's got this camera. Uh, I'm not sure if he's managed to stabilise the camera yet. He had it on like a lanyard. And it's like fucking motion sickness watching some of the videos. But really, you know, I mean, I love stuff like that anyway. Because you just get you get to capture that that point. Uh, it's something I've thought about doing myself. Um, but I'm not sure he, if someone challenged me about it. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll have to see. You'll have to see. This, maybe this, this summer might uh, invest in, like I think, like spy cams, aren't they, or something. Um... But yeah, check Darren's channel out if you if you haven't already, guys. Awesome, right? Moving swiftly on. Um, did a trade with a guy again. YouTube, no, no. Um, that I'll link him down below. Adam into Ghost. We did a trade for a few bits. Uh, shit, I think I'm only GameCube, GameCube, Game Boy stuff. He had a GameCube game and an N64 game I was interested in. So, we sorted that out. Um, so, what I managed to pick up off him is Holy Magic Century on the N64. And I, I didn't realise, but um, he must have been in his trades video, but it came with a manual. So, that is absolutely awesome. Um, this is not a game I've played, to be fair, on the N64. And the other one. It's a GameCube game, it's Capcom vs SNK2 EO Millionaire Fighter Fighting. And that is all in there, all complete. So many thanks for that, Adam. Really appreciate it. Check his channel out, Into Ghost, Into Ghost House now, I think he's, he's, uh, he's changed it over. Um, Adam put a video up, I think it's yesterday or the day before that talk about his OCD sort of thing and some of the quirks um, not as bad as, as, as that I must admit I mean I do put certain collections like the mass system is in alphabetical order um, the PlayStation 2 ones are uh, Mega Drive isn't and no the play it's just the main uh, just a bigger sort of stuff I don't know what it is certain things I have to have in a certain order um, and then other things that I can I can live with, like I can live with loose SNES carts, it doesn't bother me, and N64 ones. Um, but yeah, 
check his channel out. Some awesome stuff. He does a lot of like community replies and a uh, bit of pickups and, and stuff like that. So yeah, awesome. Go check him out. Thanks again, Adam. Right. Adam, this is not really trade, this is a gift actually, so I should have altered the, the opening um, title there. It's a gift off, off a guy who watches my channel, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing that, but from time to time I get messages from people saying, oh, I've got X, Y, and Z, would you be interested in it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, of course, and nothing ever comes of it. Now, that's not to sort of slate anybody, it's just obviously the way it is. Um, so, this particular person messaged me saying, I've got this, would you be interested in it? Yeah. I've said what do you want, blah, blah. I said, no, don't worry about it, I'll send it. Yeah, brilliant. Didn't really expect it to turn up, and it did, and, and to be fair, hands down to the chat, really sorted me out here. So this is from a guy called Richard. Um, I think, I'm not sure if he's got a channel, but if he has, I'll, again, all these guys I'll link down below. Um, so yeah, he very, very kindly sent me a math system manual that I needed. So it's a little note off Richard, so it says, hi Stuart, please find the enclosed manual. Good luck with the rest of the collection. And uh, he's very good and kindly... Uh, He's very kindly going to keep an eye out for any more um, loose manuals that I need. And the, the manual that I've got off him is GP Rider on the math system. Okay, there's a bit of scroll on the back, which should be where someone's just wrote some code. Doesn't bother me. So Richard, bonus mate. Really, really, really happy about that. That's one more off the list. So, wonderful. I mean, YouTube's just amazing, isn't it, sometimes? And sometimes it's not. Right, this next trade is off a guy, he, he just, um, he messaged me off the back of, I think he said Adam's, into Ghost House's um, channel. And uh, he's a cracking little lad, to be honest, I mean fair play to him for, for getting in front of the camera, you know, say he's only a young lad, but uh, check his channel out, he's got a weird, it's not weird, he's got a really... I don't know, I, I just like the way he, he does videos, and like I say, for someone so young, hats off to you mate, hats off to you. So, do you know what, I forgot his name. No, it's Connor. Right, I didn't forget your name. Uh, so me and Connor did a trade, and uh, he actually did a video just for me, so that was really awesome, so I really do appreciate that. So, here's a little note off him, and he just says, hi Tutti, hope you enjoyed the games mate, sorry for the delay. Um, we did this when it, we had all the bad snow, um, so yeah, we just sort of said that hopefully the, post, that the snow won't slow the postage down. Uh, there's next extra game in here, and he calls it the Dog Bite Edition. And when I read the note, before I looked at the game, I was like, Dog Bite? And now I realise why. So yeah, we did a trade for, um, I can't remember, I, trade, I sent N64 games, of course it was. Um, and he had a couple of games that I was really interested in. And uh, really happy to get these. One of these I've got loose car, but this one is, is boxed. Um, so that's why I just thought, yeah, I'll, I'll have that. So without further ado, oh, we've got it. His channel's Doom Pod. But again, I'll link him down below. His name's Connor Doom Pod. Like I say, cracking little lad. And like, you know, to have the, the, the sort of uh, the gall, the front, I don't know, not front, that's the wrong word, uh, the confidence to get in front of the camera. Really good. And they say, he's, like, he's got a nice. Way about him where he sort of does the videos. Um, anyway, enough waffle. So we did a couple of trades, N64 games. Three games just give me a Brucey bonus. So I got Dragon Ninja, Bad Dudes on the on the NES. It's just a box, which you've probably seen better days, but it's boxed anyway. The car, and there is a sleeve in here. He says, yeah. So I say this one I have got loose car. It's always nice to have the box so that'll go into that. Uh, another NES game. This one I haven't played before. Kabuti, Kabuti, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Go. It's like, it's like a bit like Ninja Gaiden, I think, or Ninja Gaiden. Turns out you say it again. It's just. Oh, it's just a game rattling around in the box. So I've got to get a sleeve for it. There we go. Uh, one game that was really, you know, really chuffed. Cause I've, I'd seen this before um, in CEX, I think. Uh, it's an auto, I think it's, it's, meant, it's meant to be a really good RPG. And it's um, Lucifer's Call by Shin Megami Tensei. There we go. Uh, 
go. And that's all in there. Complete. So yeah, really look, give that a blast at some point. And the finale, the dog bite edition. I've got this, but it's just amusing just to show you. It's a dog bite edition of Prince of Persia on the Game Gear. Now let me get a bit closer. There we go, look. Check that. Now, kind of question, is it your dog that's bit this? And why was he biting the Game Gear cart? Get him a bone. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, anyone's interested in the dog bite edition of Prince of Persia, let me know. So that's all the trades. So like I say, many thanks to all the guys that I had to trade with. Um, really do appreciate it. <clears throat> been a pleasure. I know there's been a few instances of um, some trade, especially over in the States, um, video game sellers. I think they've had a bit of an issue with someone trying to rip them off. But, you know, so there's some nasty bastards out there, aren't there, really? Mm. Pickups. Pickups, pickups. Um, what have I got? Let's sort it out by eBay and stuff I've picked up. Out of the bag. Right. Okay. So eBay first. I'll do eBay. Um, off the back of uh, me picking up the Spectrum games, and I was ranting on, like ranting on, to a few other people about this particular game. Said, oh, you get, get it, even get it on an emulator, try it out. And I thought, I'm saying all this, I even got the game myself. So I thought, fuck it, I'm going to go and buy it. Um, and it is on the Spectrum. It's Target Renegade. There we go. Look, it was look how much it was. Eight quid, eight quid from Boots. So I've got Target Renegade on the Specky. Uh, I am going to try and get my Specky set up at some point. But this is an awesome game. Me and my mate love playing this. So yeah, I think that was about like one pound ten or something. I don't know, something like that. It wasn't much, but I thought I should really buy it because I keep rant rant ranting on about it. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> More eBay. Bought a little stack of um, SNES games. Well, I won one game and I messaged a guy and said, Look, we've got, what have you got left over? And we just did a deal for the remainder. So the game that I'd won was a uh, Crusty Super Fun House. Now I've got this on. My system. Don't. Have I got it on? Mega Drive, but I remember playing this on the SNES. I first played this on the SNES anyway, and it's it, it's a good little uh, puzzler. So I would not and I say I say message the guy and sort of said, look, because I know he had he had quite a few games for sale, and I just said, have you, what did you have left? So th there's nothing really of note, to be fair. But I just bundled them all up. I thought, well, I'll have them anyway because I haven't got them. Um, so the other one, the other ones is uh, Street Fighter Two, normal US. FIFA, <laughs> like that's ever going to get played. This one, uh, I never played. I've never played this series on the SNES. I've always played it on Mega Drive because that's what my mate had at the time, and he was really into these games, big time. But it's NHP NHLPA Hockey '93. Uh, this one I've never played before. It's Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. And then Super WrestleMania Japanese for the Super Famicom. And I remember playing the first time, I think this is the one. Shit, I can't remember. Was this the first one that came out on the, is this the first wrestling game that came out on the SNES? I can't remember. Whichever one it was, I remember back in the day my mate John. He I don't know where where we got how his old man found out, but there's some guy selling SNES games but imported like American ones and he got the I think it's this one the American version of this with an adapter like you know back in the day that was like whoa an adapter to play foreign games and we loved it it's probably a load of crap but when you were a kid and there weren't that many wrestling games available not like, like, like good ones uh, not the WWF ones anyway and uh, yeah I remember that that was weird I still don't know how his dad managed to find them people you know because I mean this is way before the internet, so that was odd. 
Um, so, Flea Bay. Someone's selling a couple of games. I messaged them and said, oh, look, they're selling two lots of bundles. I said, look, I need that one from that bundle and that one from that bundle. What do you reckon? And to be fair, they went, yeah, not problem. So, because the other two in the sets I already had. Um, well, technically, I've got this one, but it wasn't complete. So, the one that I was really after, and the other one I just picked up just to bulk it out because I thought I might as well get my money's worth, and I didn't need, and I needed it. So, the one game that I was really after, and I, I've got it, it's Fantasy Star 2. Now, unfortunately, I'm still looking for it. I mean, it's in cracking condition inside. So, I've got this, but I haven't got the manual, and I still haven't got. Where is it? That hint book. So if anyone's got a hint book that they want to move on or they don't need or whatever, please give me a shout. This is probably in a lot of better condition than mine, I must admit. Uh, mine's up there somewhere. I'll have to dig it out and have a look. Um, but I say mine's um, just a cartridge in the box. And then the other one that I just chucked in, like I say, because I haven't got it, it's probably a load of crap. But it's uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it's just another one to the collection. One of the newer style blue labelled games, that's all complete. So I've got them two. Mm. Finally, I think I'm down to, I will be down to 10 games now for the math system. This game has bloody eluded me for quite a while. I don't, don't see it that often. Um, Again, like I say, because I'm down to the last 10, probably many of the last 10, I don't see that often. But this one, although it's not very really expensive when it does come up, it, 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 it's one of them, again, it's like, I always think, oh, it's really rare. Well, yeah, technically, yeah. But it's, is it rare, as in, there's not many of them, or is it rare that they just, you just don't see them? I think there's a slight difference there. This is one of them games that's rare because you don't see it. It's not rare, expensive rare. Um, it is in wonderful condition, I must admit. Absolutely spanking. I don't think it's ever been played. Uh, I picked this up really cheap as well. I've got a really good deal on it. I think it's something like seven quid. Um, initially, when I, when I opened it up, I thought it was the fucking Mega Drive version. Because it, it, it's not a standard Mass System box, uh, cover. But it's World Cup USA 94. Now, I've got obviously got the... Um, Mega Drive version of this. I just wonder if I can pick it out. No, I can't see it. I was going to compare the boxes. Ah, oh, fuck it, it's up there somewhere. Um, but like I say, this is in spanking condition. I mean, that is just. I don't know if you can see that. Really crisp, so yeah. That does take me down to 10 games. I think it was at 11. I couldn't remember. It takes me down to 10 games. Um, 10 games to me. I mean, someone will probably will say, oh, yeah, but your boogie boy and your streets of rage two aren't complete. Whatever. I don't. Them games I'll, I'll get if I can drop lucky. As far as I'm concerned, you know, the, the, price wise, they're good enough for me. So, I'm not going to go back to that one. Next two. Out in the wild, one of these is fucking awesome. When I seen this, I thought, damn, there's got to be more of these. They, they, they weren't, though. I was really wrapped off. Um, this one I picked, I picked up for, it, it's a queer charity shop. Um, not one that I've seen. I don't know if it's... No, it's not a one on beat. I think it's like a venture. It's a spin-off of um, the genre. It's Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. So, Charity Shop 199, it wasn't, it was, a, it was only a quid, they were knocking them out a quid each. Um, they, had a, they had a few other games there, um, but the problem, I mean, it's in, you know, inside it's alright, but a lot of the discs, I mean, that's got a couple of, there you go, let's see, it's got a couple of nicks in it, and a lot of them were like, you know, when you look at it and you think, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, I, <laughs> I tried to knock them down. Because I said there was a couple of them I thought, at the right price I would have had them and took the chance. So I did try and get a lot of them for 50p, they weren't interested, so I, I said, well, look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to take them otherwise. Um, so yeah, I just picked that one up for, for a quid. Um, 
Shame, but there we go. Right, this one, I, I, I did pay the, the full whack on this. Um, now, I don't know if I've got this loose disc. So I know there's two variants of this kind. Well, it's not, no, it's not the same one, is it? It's a slightly different compilation. It's on the GameCube. Um, I'll show you what it is first. It's a Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, the promotional disc. So I paid $1.99 for that. When I seen this in the shop, I thought, if someone's added that, there's got to be more games. There weren't. The only, no, so tell a lie, the only other one was fucking FIFA 2006 or some shite. So I was really <laughs> annoyed because I thought, oh yeah, you know, a little bit of a bit of a, um, mini pickup, but no. So, I mean, it's in spanking condition. I'm just going to check because I think this is the one that I've got just as a loose disc. So I've got all my little loose discs in there. Like this. I can't find it. I can't find I might have put it into an empty box actually to protect it. Um, but yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it is, you know. I've got this as a loose disc, because it's got all the Zelda games on it. There's another one, isn't there? I forget what's on it. There's another one. I've gone completely blank. There's another GameCube one that's got a couple of Zelda games on it. Um, but I forget. <laughs> I need more beer, that's the problem. Need more more fluids. Mm. That's it guys. That's it for now anyway. Um Obviously it's been can snowing and all kinds of shit going on, so there ain't much been happening really and I might do a uh a, a trades video, have a look, little sort out again, dig some more stuff out because it's starting to warm I mean all the snow started to melt, thank god. So, um, yeah, other than that, that's me done. So, uh, take it easy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.